Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about different methods on color grading images. So I have this image here, um, I took it back in March in Barcelona. Um, it was a nice sunny day and I wanted to have this kind of really sunny feeling. So there's a few ways you can kind of approach color grading, for me anyway. First way is to start in Lightroom and I find it the most convenient way because um, it kind of, I, I think it's the easiest because it sets you up to a really good start and um, because the temperature and tint settings right here are really really convenient and really really easy to use so I find it really sets you up for a really good start so what I do here as you see the image is quite green and quite kind of cold so I want to color balance it um, so what I usually do you can do a few things usually you should have a gray card or some sort of a gray kind of fabric to color your um, images or to put in front of your images but if you don't have it like i never use it which i probably should but i just never did um so if you don't have a gray card what you can do basically if you have any sort of like a white fabric or anything kind of even closely similar to gray you can click on it and there's a chance it's going to color grade it nicely for you as you see here um i find it quite nice so it kind of does the basic job for you and then you can go into the temperature and tint adjustment and you can just kind of you know play around and see what works i want a bit more uh, magenta in my tint so I'll just go there and then I don't know if I need any more yellow, probably not. I kind of like it here. Okay, so once I have that done, I just go into Photoshop. Okay, so I go to Photoshop, I have it open and it pretty much sets me up for the start. All I do then is just my general curve settings. So let's say a bit more brightness, a bit more shadows. Maybe a bit more of a contrast. Maybe a tiny bit less, so I'll bring it down in opacity a tiny bit. Okay, so this is the first option, and that's one of the easiest options for me, I think. But if you don't want to go this route, so let's say you have this image and you don't have Lightroom, you don't want to use Lightroom, whatever the reason is, um, you can just go directly to Photoshop, which I think is a much harder um, option. But if that's something that you want to do, that's perfectly fine also, you can balance it a different way. So, so now we have this one and there is a very, very strong green tint on it, green and blue. So there's a few ways you can go to balance it. Now, my first instinct would be to use the photo filter, which is very unusual, I know, but it usually works quite well when you have to get rid of a strong tint. So um, usually you can just go through the settings here and see if anything works. As I said, I feel like color grading in Photoshop by itself is much more difficult, so I would definitely recommend going through Lightroom first. I think it's a much easier kind of situation there. So this kind of balances our blue. So this is one of the settings and then I can create another photo filter and go for the kind of warmer setting. So I'm not sure about yellow because that's going to bring us back there. Orange is a bit too much. Let's go to sepia. That's not too bad. And you can obviously adjust um, how strong you want the violet to be, or just um, the magenta, whichever way you want to call it. Okay, so now we can go to selective color and we can just go to neutrals. There are all the different channels that you can use. What I usually use is white, neutral, and black because I just find it the most convenient for what I need. But if you need to, let's say, reduce strong reds or yellows or whatever, then you can just go to the channels. But um, I'm going to go to neutrals first and maybe add a bit more yellow in the image. And then go to magenta and maybe add a bit more magenta. And you see already our photo is starting to kind of take shape and it's looking much more like the other image. Now I don't want too much yellow. I feel like uh, my whites need quite a lot of yellow as well because they are quite blue. 
so just a tiny bit maybe not too much as i said i, I want to kind of start slow and then build up to it okay and then the blacks i feel like the image is very um green so definitely need some magenta in it as I said, um, I would definitely think about doing Lightroom because it's just such a more, much more convenient way to achieve, you know, the same result. It's so much easier. Okay. What you could also do is um, use color balance. And maybe go a bit magenta there. And then yellow and blue. Okay. And now let me grab this image here, so our original one, and just copy the two curve adjustments there. So as you see now, it's looking way more um, red than we would like it to be. So if we take the color balance away, and if we maybe take the photo filter away, so this is what we are left with now, and this is what we got in lightroom i feel like the colors are much more kind of intense and bright and just kind of slightly nicer but they aren't too bad i'm not too um so it almost feels like it does need a bit more yellow now so let's just go back here let's go back to our image there let's just give rid of the stuff that we don't really use so now in our selective color now is the time where you can go to maybe reds and just play around. I think the main thing is just playing around until the colors look right to you. Um, you know, some people use very kind of odd colors. Other people want to kind of stick with um, the kind of real tone. So now let me just show you a little before and after. So as you see, the difference is quite insane. Um, it took me a bit more work. Um, so basically I started with the photo filter, two of them, then I got rid of it. Usually what I do, um, I try and go as close as possible to the final resor result and then I just kind of play around and see what works and switch stuff on and off and kind of, you know, just see what looks the best basically. So we have the photo filter that did quite a lot because it added quite a lot of magenta. Then we have selective color that changed quite a bit as well. We added this lovely warm tone to it. Then we are looking at curves. Obviously that was just um, general adjustments. I might go back to selective color. And this is really something I would look into because it's a really, really nice kind of useful tool for anybody who's struggling. So I might add maybe a tiny bit more blue into the blacks rather than the yellow. So I'll leave, leave it at that, and then neutrals. Maybe just a tiny bit more yellow. I don't want to go too overboard. Actually, it could do with a tiny bit less magenta, I think. I don't really use science that often. I always work on magenta and yellow the most. Um, I just find it the most convenient thing. Okay, finally, what I sometimes do is use the hue saturation so if i let's say i want to make the dress a bit more um kind of intense or if i want to um make the palm trees kind of stand out a bit more i would increase that and don't worry i know it looks kind of crazy now but i will mask it out and maybe even do a little setting if i want to make it a bit more you know kind of like a different color so i kind of like that so what i'm going to do i'm going to mask it out so I'll invert the mask to be black and now i'm going to grab a big white brush and just go over the area that I want a bit more colorful and I find it a nice and quick way to kind of add a bit of color where you where you want the color basically okay and now again let's check the group out as you see the color is quite drastic the change is quite amazing now I still feel like I need to make it a bit more sunny so let's go back to photo sorry to color balance and just see if we can make it look a bit more sunny. We can, yeah, that's quite good. I like that. So if we can maybe increase it by maybe 10, I'll go minus 10 in that case. I think that makes it look quite good. OK, 
okay so as you see this is the Lightroom version and this is the Photoshop version so they are really really close so as you see there was a bunch more layers and there was a bunch more work involved but overall we ended up kind of with pretty much the same result if not better so as you see there's different ways to approach it um lightroom most definitely easier you know it was one swipe of a little of the little um cursor whatever you call it uh, but you can do it in photoshop no problem and it's just a matter of kind of wiggling around um this was the first time i actually used color balance i never used it before but it kind of does work the same way as the lightroom temperature and tint so definitely worked checking it out too so I hope you guys like this video let me know what you think let me know which way do you color grade which way do you find or what tool do you find the most useful when it comes to color grading um i find this one to be really really good uh but maybe there are other methods that you guys want to tell me about i'd love to hear about it also let me know what would you like to see in next week's video and i'll see you then